so that in some of our businesses we don't even have a signature which is wet. As you can see that yeah, hard work, geography, good products, working the last mile, our customer base is steadily been growing. We are now sitting at 4.9 million customers active. If you take the total customer we have serviced, who we have a database of, it is 1.2 crores. So it's a very large franchise with a lot of repository of customers and we do a very good business analytics unit which really churns out various propensity uh, <coughs> models for customers on the next best service or the next best product. Now we will talk about a bit about moving into financials. We have spoken about bank is turning secure. We have spoken about our net NPA being 0 0.9. We have spoken about how our liability business is growing at 33.7%, how we are a national franchise, we have no geographic concentration, digital is our backbone, and all these results into what kind of profit answers or performance answers for the bank is where we are going next year to. Okay, here is uh, disbursements, of course, as you can see uh, here, growing at CAGR of about 40%. Uh, year on half on half, which is up to September, we say that's about 30%. Uh, here you can see how post COVID, the 7.2% gross NP is down to 2.4, net NP is down from 5.3 to 0.9%. So the banks has gone through a natural phase of <coughs> COVID problems and then solving them. I just want to add, if no year of COVID will be unprofitable. So even though we had challenges of increased delinquency because of COVID, we were able to provision based on our own uh, profits and still declare, declare a bad act. So we have been profitable every single year, including the COVID years, starting from 2020. Uh, this is the growth that you would uh, expect where a bank is going very strong on assets. So our interest income at 16%, of course, Half and half has been a terrific performance with a 31%. This is the growth on a pre-provisioning operating profit. Also coming out from uh, COVID, it's obviously showing a much better growth rate. Our profit after tax. So last full year, we did 256 crores. This first half, we have done 213 crores. It's a growth of nearly 283% over last year. And it tells you that based on the ROE, we are at 19% ROE at 1.6. As the COVID provisioning is over, <coughs> the true reflection of profits of the bank are very visible to us. Okay, uh, NIMS are stable at 7.8. That's a very important question because everybody questions that as the cost of fund is rising, is your NIM stable? Our name has been stable at 7.8. In spite of cost of fund increase, our ROI at 1.6. And like I mentioned, our first up profit is 213 versus last full year of 256. Uh, important things to point out here, I, like I mentioned, I think very important. Uh, given this an IPO, an investor would like to know this. Our ROE, return on equity, is at 19.6% and our ROE is 1.6. So we perform, we make sure that the shareholders money that we have taken in the past is working very well and we are giving good output. Thanks to digital, our cost of income is sitting at 58.5 and as we turn secure, that's a very natural expectation that cost income will always get better. Risk. Uh, I did mention that I have been 28 years, in, 28 years in banking before I joined Chana. And I can tell you a lot about risk. But let me start by saying everything that I learned in the first 28 years, and my head of risk actually has worked 29 years before he joined Chana. So he's got one more year experience in risk management. Everything we learned, we made sure that we compressed that <coughs> and got it to Chana. So Chana, risk management. It reflects the best that we have understood in our banking careers and we implanted that here. 
So one thing we are very confident about, and I must say modestly very proud about is the way we manage risk. And that is core to our business. So again, uh, very digitized, so scorecards, professional people, very system led, and of course very strong focus on collections. See, collection focus is very key because it's more about reminding customers. We don't outsource collections. Our own people go and help people understand why is it good to make sure the payment is correct? Why they should they should pay on time? How does it help their scorecards and their bureau scores? So very important that we keep engaging our customers, helping them understand the importance of being perfect on the repayment with the banks. This is our board. <coughs> Dr. Kunte, as you can see here, is our chairman. Dr. Kunte used to be the IRDIA chairman just before the current chairman. So before Mr. Panda was the current chairman, Dr. Kunte was the chairman of IRDA. Prior to that, he's got a very distinguished uh, IAS career. He's been the chief secretary, etc. And if you see everybody on the board, very well uh, accomplished and absolutely contributing a lot. So for example, Mr. Vijay Kumar, he's a career RBI person, retired as ED. And after he finished his schooling period, he joined our board. So everybody on the board is very accomplished, very experienced, and independent. Except of course the non-independents like me. Um, our board has two directors who are in the managing committee. One is myself and one is Raman. Raman is a person I mentioned who's got one more year experience and runs our credit. He's also on our board and he just joined us in January. That is the team here and Abhilash is right in front of you. So good mix of uh, professionals coming from very many different banks. But the one common thing if you take an average number of years of experience, you can see right here, the average year of experience is 27 years. So it's people who have been there, done that, made their mistakes, learned, and they have come here to make sure that we really build a very strong foundation because like I said, we're only five and a half years. We are the founding members of the bank, and we really want to make sure that we build a very solid foundation for the bank. Uh, future roadmap. Listen, I mentioned the big strategy is to be the bank for middle India. That doesn't change. Quick secure, that doesn't change. Digital, that does not change. Risk management, that does not change. Being the choice, first choice of a consumer, that does not change. So really, if you think about it, our future is going to be very, very clear in terms of we will deliver on what we are continuing to do, what we are good at, and more importantly, what will make our customers happy. So a lot of things are written here, which we can obviously go through. The last piece is about the deposit franchise. So we are investing in the growth of our deposit franchise. We have been going much better than industry, and we are aware of that. We'll continue that path, because do, we do feel that we have the ability to do it. Uh, nothing else from my side, uh, because I really want to make sure that I am answering all the questions that you may have. But in closing, if you want to remember us, then you must look at us saying, this bank has spent the last five and a half years building a franchise for the middle of India, making sure they serve all customers need under one roof, being very digitized, and also making sure that they're providing high level of service because for us, that's the only reason we'll get successful. I'll stop here. Open it to questions and both Abhilash and me or if required any of our bankers will do it. Please.